Okay, so my question is basically you pl- after the Philly game. So let's ex- I want to exclude the Philadelphia game because that's probably the last big game remaining in the season, right? That where you're going up against a, a legitimate powerhouse in your conference. So moving past that Philly game, do you continue to play Tatum, Brown, Brogdon, Smart? You know, some of your like some of your most valuable contributors, or do you start to stagger them game to game, like? Like what the Spurs are doing in their tank, right? Like you don't know which one of their starters are playing one day and which ones mysteriously can't make it because their car tire flew into an alien spaceship and landed on Jupiter. Like just or start staggering. Or Pluto, <laughs> yeah, but Pluto's um Pluto's a philosopher, right? Um, so that would be my question. Like after this, after the Philly game, should the Celtics start taking a bit more? caution with their players health and trying not to risk having an injury so 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 close to the postseason yeah i think that's a great question i and will and i touched on this briefly on the last pod i think that it all depends on whether or not the one seed is still in play right if the one seed is still in play if the bucks somehow lose a game or two that we didn't expect them to lose and we could realistically have an opportunity to get that one seed i think you got to continue to go balls to the wall until the end of the season but if the one seed's really out of the question, Philly, if we beat Philly especially, there's just no way that they can catch us. So we might as well. I, mean, I would prefer to just completely like shut guys down. You know what I mean? Um, if, if we could shut down Tatum for two of the three games, you know, I don't want him facing the Raptors at all just because they're so physical and like OG Ananobi might foul him hard on a play or Boucher might do something silly. There's, there's just a physicality in that series or in those back-to-back games that I don't really want Tatum or Brown to be a part of and Rob too, like sit Rob, you know, anybody that we think could like, if they go down, our season's over, right? Mm -hmm. Those guys I think need to be out of the lineup. I think that's Tatum. I think that's Brown. I think that's Rob. Yeah, it's I mean, I'm with you, Greg. It's, it's a mixed bag right now. And I think a lot of that, you know, we're recording this on a Sunday morning and, you know, tonight there's going to be a big Sixers Bucks game. And in a weird way, even though we don't want the Sixers to obviously, you know, we're still two and a half up on the Sixers. We have a little bit of a cushion. We're kind of Sixers fans tonight wanting them to beat the Bucks so that it brings it down to just a game lead for the Bucks heading in to Monday. So that way for the rest of the week, we kind of can balance this out. And then if we beat Philly, that takes care of any worry about them trying to catch us. So it's, it's kind of this weird spot where I, I think it's really hard to make a call until you get through Tuesday. Tuesday, you have to play. I think with everything you got, you've been off for three days. That's the game that I think you look to as you should treat that as a playoff game. If I'm Joe Missoula, that's my eight, maybe nine man rotation that I'm really treating as if this is a one game playoff that I really want to win. And these are the guys that we're rolling with. And, you know, by the end of that night, if you're two games back from Milwaukee with three to play, then you go into everything you just said, Greg, and you start figuring out the ways to, to rest guys. You know, you start taking them off, taking your foot off the pedal a little bit. Uh, but if you're one game out and three games back and you have the tiebreaker, I think you still have to, you know, go for it as much as you can. But like when they play that back to back, you're going to be in a back to back, right? With Philly. And then with Toronto on Wednesday, I think you take kind of a similar approach to what you did with the jazz. Like you're still going to sit, I think Rob and, and Al and let the chips, you know, kind of fall where they may. So it's, it's, it's really tough to know until Tuesday, but I think Tuesday needs to be approached as if it's a playoff game or a playoff game tune up. It's one of the closest things we're going to get to a playoff game tune up, right. You know, with the next week and a half off, because then there's that full week from when the season ends on Sunday until that next Saturday, which is when non play in teams will play against, you're going to have quite a bit of time off. So I think you need to use Tuesday night as your definitive. This is our playoff warm up. And then the rest of it will kind of figure out depending on what the standings look like at the end of that night. I think that's fair. I think that when you have, when you approach it like that, then you're still prioritizing your seeding. You're still prioritizing giving yourself the best chance to make it deep in the playoffs. But then you're also prioritizing health because if you do realize, hey, first seed's out of reach, then yeah, we're going to start shutting guys down. If it's still in play, even then though, right? Like against teams like Toronto, no disrespect to Toronto. Do you really need to push Tatum and Brown's minutes too high? Do you really need to lean on Brogdon heavily? Like, you know, this team went to the finals as the second seed. I know it's going to be tough going into Milwaukee when Milwaukee h- control the home court advantage and it's probably going to be a seven game series. But I just, the last thing I'd want is some like a key contributor to miss 
like even the opening week of the playoffs, similar to what Rob went through last season with Brooklyn, right? And like we saw how long it took him to even get back up to game speed, despite coming back midway through that series. And it'd just be like the the biggest hammer blow the Celtics could have after what's been a very up and down season. 